हेलो 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 हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वी कौन सी प्रॉब्लम मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ एनाग्राम कैन कैलकुलेशन इवन इफ यू हैव सॉल्व इट एंड इवन इफ यू हैव गॉट एक्सेप्टेड दिस अ स्टिल चांस दैट योर सोल्यूशन वॉज इन करेक्ट इफ नॉट दैन यू कैन वॉच दिस सिंपल शॉर्ट इन विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन विद एन एग्जाम्पल दैट इट वॉज इन करेक्ट इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो आई एम गोट एक्सप्लेन बट या इट्स इट्स द चांस इट्स गॉन बी इन करेक्ट नाउ uh firstly if you have not watched this one video to understand about factors divisors and their complexities i'll highly recommend go and watch this this will only help you to understand the complexity of this problem else you will just think of that it will not work cool now it is simple so it simply say that you are given a string s which is known to be concatenation make sure the string s the string s is a big string it is a concatenation of anagrams of string t so i am saying okay a string t a string t a string t but it can be like these string t again these are the anagrams so if i have one string t one string t that's it t dash and if i take anagrams of that t dash then it should be these and these are concatenated one after the another that is concatenation that is a prime thing why your solution might be failing because you are, you might not have considered this concatenation part you might have just considered that it is just anagram that's it but you have to say that it's a concatenation of anagrams you have to return the minimum possible length of the string t which is this string t right and they have said what is anagram anagram is nothing but you can just rearrange those characters and whatsoever form is an anagram for example in this you can see a b a b a b a b so if i take the string of length 2 so you can see these are concatenated and these two are actually anagrams if i take c d e f then again there is no concatenation so i have to take individual ones and i cannot see these these are anagrams okay not possible then maybe i can try for two again not anagrams not possible Three not even possible because I cannot attach the three. So only four is one. That is the answer. That's a and that's the reason. Answer is four. Now the case in which you might have gone wrong is that for example for this case you might say Aryan I can simply see that this string a a b b a b a b I can achieve it with a b because I can see that a b a b if I take and then if And uh, for sure, AB I can simply take, and then I can make AB AB attached four times, and then if I do the anagram of this, then I can form this. This was not the problem was saying. Problem was saying that anagram of string T, which means this AB or maybe BA, you can concatenate them and then form this. It is not post concatenation. You cannot do anagram. It is. before concatenation i can do anagram stuff so if i take ab if let's say if i take ab so i i can see okay for sure in the very beginning i need to have a aa no way i can take concatenation of ab so i have to take okay length 4 again i can try for length 3 also length 3 length 3 but length 3 is not even possible i need to have a divisor or factor of this length so you can see length is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 my length is 8 so, and i know i have to concatenate stuff which is t t length string t string t string t again anagrams okay oh yeah, string t string t string t so i need to make sure these are all these are the factors or the divisors of my number n that is the reason i asked you that you should be knowing what is the complexity of finding your factors or divisors of a number now okay things Are seeming good. Uh, I can try for the factors, and for sure I can see that number is eight. So I can say, okay, I can try for a one length. Then I can try for a length of two. Then maybe length of four, and then ultimately length of eight. That's the only possible options. So okay, if I try for length of one, 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 one. Oh, for sure I can see that these are never the anagrams. Okay, no worries. Length for two. Let's try length for two. Length for two. Again, these are also not the anagrams. Okay, no worries. Let's try for length for four. Length of four. Oh, these are the anagrams. So minimum length which I have found out is actually four. So you realized what you have to do. Simply, firstly, you have this number n. 
you have to try for all the divisors of that number so i'll simply say that for length is equals to one again starting from length one length is less than equals to your number which is n in this case and then length plus plus i am trying for these lengths length of one length of two length of four and these are the lengths which i can actually try for this is the length of t now i can only try if my n mod this length if it's equal to it equal to zero which means that one two four eight only these will satisfy this condition and okay if this satisfies still i need to make sure that if i have taken if i have taken okay two two then i have to make sure that these are the anagrams which i'm making the bunch i'm making of length which is this specific length which i'm making the bunch i'm making of this length it should be anagram so now i will have another function okay just check if it is okay if it is okay for this string s again let's imagine the string is s and the length i have taken is the length this length which is the length t and i have to make sure all consecutive length length again this is the length this is the length this is the length this is the length so all the consecutive length should have same should be anagram and what is the condition of anagram anagram simply says if i have to find if two strings a b c d a a a b c d these two are anagrams you can simply see these, these are anagrams how we found out simply taking the frequency of these two strings and it should match so just to make sure that this length which i have taken it will form a length 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 it should form an anagram so i'll make sure i'll take this as the first range first thing I, i'll take this first range of length len then i will grab the frequencies of all the elements in this first range only in this first range only i'll get the frequencies frequency is two and that is a b is zero c is zero up till z again i know all are lowercase english alph alphabets so i know it will be a to z so i'll keep track in the first range what is the frequencies then to verify if this is okay if this length is okay or not i have to go on to all the next lengths this length this length and this length I have to make sure that the frequencies in this other ranges it should match with the first range frequencies exactly match so okay as you can see in this the frequency will be 2 b is 2 a is 0 then for this next range i have to make sure compare it with this first range it should match okay all the frequency all the ranges should have the same frequencies but in this case you can see it is not matching so okay answer is not even possible this okay will return a false then try for the next length next length is 4 if this condition is 8 mod 4 will be 0 this is the next number which will be 0 and again i am going on from one length to n length i am trying for the minimum length possible that's my aim maksad nahi bulna your minimum aim is minimum length possible so simply ultimately just check is it okay how again simply go and try for a length this is the length length then first range first range is this range get the frequency a is 2 b is 2 now go on and try for the next ranges okay length length and so on and so forth for this net length i will again get the frequency which is a to b2 i will match is this, is this exactly matching the frequency is exactly matching or not if yes okay then try for the next range but yeah that's finished so simply if something is finished return a true in the end true so this will return a true and this is the smallest length which i have got so simply if this is smallest length return the length this is the smallest length as an answer and ultimately even if trying for all the possible ranges i still cannot find the answer return a false now as i have told in this video also the complexity and i have proved also prove everything with proof is in this video so i'll not repeat it again so the complexity of this is actually 2 root n max and for this for this check for this check for this check to check if this length in the string is okay or not you will have to go on and try for this entire length and again when i say length this length and then then in this length and this length so till you have to iterate on the entire string and have to make sure the frequency of the first length should match with the frequency of the other length other length other length so in that here i am iterating on all this entire all the characters just once that's it and that's how i can simply get my answer cool let's see the code so you saw the complexity will be, will be roughly n root n 
So firstly, I made sure I went on to all the lengths and then in the length, I check if that is a, that divides, that length divides my N. Okay, I can repeat this len, 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 len and so on and so forth. I have to also make sure that it is okay for this length, for this being an anagram. So I'll go and check for this function. Okay. I will first, this is a first frequency, which is the frequency of the first len range. So I go on to the first len range. I'll get the frequency of all the characters. That's it. Then I will go on to the remaining portion of the string starting from the index len up till the n. Again, I will go on in the bunch of len because this is a length len. This is a length len. This is a length len. So I'll go in this bunches, in this bunches. Starting from this index len and this is next index is len plus. Sorry, my again, this is if this is an index i, so this will be i plus len. This will be again i plus 2 len. So these are the indexes. And this is the range which I will look for for this specific len range. So range frequency I will get. Now this range frequency calculating the frequency of elements in this range len. Next range. Initially it's 0. I will go on to all the characters in that specific range, which means all these characters I will go on to update the frequencies and then I will just verify if it is actually matching with the first frequency range. So these, these frequencies, whatever I've got, I've got for this range or this range or this range, it should exactly match with the first frequency which I've got. That's what I want. That's how an anagram is defined. If it is not matching, return a false. Ultimately for all the ranges, if it is matching, return a true. Make sure that this entire thing, this entire loop is actually just O of n times. Because this says start with this index len, iterate on all, iterate on all, all the characters in that range, i plus len. And then this makes sure this i plus is equal to len, make sure that I'm jumping on to the directly next index. So I started this above for loop starts with this index inner for loop go on to all these inner values then outer for loop jumps on to this index directly so you see that i am iterating on all the characters just once and then this is just a 26 constant factor that's simple 26 cool now you will see that this will actually go this this thing this because of this if condition i will only go to root n times here this will be o of n times so this will be roughly time complexity of o of n root n again a factor of 2 will be multiplied because it will be 2 root n but still roughly it will be o of n root n and for sure the space as you are using you are simply using this space of frequency which is just that's the only space which you are using and the, another space of frequency which is just like constant factor so it is o of 26 and that's the answer to prove why your solution is correct, you should be knowing the complexity of these basic stuff. That's reason I specifically focused. Please go and understand why is this the complexity. Cool, bye-bye. Take care.